Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at how we can connect a USB drive to a Kali Linux machine that's installed on VMware Workstation. There is a few settings we'll need to look at before we can connect the USB drive. The first one is while the machine is powered off and we'll need to go to the settings. So we'll right click on the Kali Linux virtual machine and go to settings. And then we need to verify that the uh, USB controller is present. If it's not present, we need to add it using this right here, which is the add hardware wizard. So click on it to add it. And on this side, we should have the defaults, which is using uh, USB 2.0. So we'll leave the defaults here and click OK. I'll go ahead and power on this virtual machine here. And I'll come back once it's done, once it's booted up. So the machine is done booting up. I'm going to put in my username and password. And I'm logged into the machine. I'm on the desktop. We'll begin by checking to see if we can see any USB drives on this device. So I'll open the terminal. And in here, let me run a few commands to check what block devices I have. So I'm going to do lsblk to list block devices. And what I'm seeing is a SDA, which is my primary disk. And then I'm seeing this CD-ROM device here as well. So I'm not seeing any uh, other drives on here. Another command we can run is uh, df-h. And I'm only seeing SDA here, SDA1 partition. One last command we can try is uh, ls. Let's see what's inside the df directory. And I'm only seeing SDA again, just one drive. Now, in order for us to connect that USB flash drive to this Kali Linux machine, or virtual machine, is to go to the VM option in the menu here, and then go to removable devices. And then it should be, your USB device should be listed here. And what we need to do is just click on connect and click OK and OK. And if you go back to VM again, removable devices, it should have the option to disconnect, meaning it's connected. Now, I will run the commands again that I ran previously. Uh, let's do SBLK. And this time, there is an additional disk here SDB with one partition, and this is the USB drive. We can try the other command, df-h, and we are not seeing the other disk showing because this is because it's not mounted. Now, in order for us to access the contents of the USB drive, we need to mount the device. There's two options. One is to manually use the terminal to mount it, and then there's another option to change a setting that will automatically mount it for us. Now I'll cover the second option towards the end of the video. Let me start with the first option. Uh, what we need to do is create a mount point where we'll mount this USB drive. Normally we will mount it on the media directory. So what we need to do is create a directory in there that will uh, mount this USB drive. So the command to do that will be sudo, let's do connect a directory in uh, media, and let's call it USB drive. Uh, now if I list I have the drive in here, there shouldn't be anything inside of it. Now I can go ahead and mount my USB drive to this directory. The command to do that is going to be sudo mount the name of the device. So this is the partition that we have on the USB drive, and we want to mount it on the directory we just created. So media USB drive. Now let's go ahead and repeat the df dash h command and now we're showing that this device is 
noted here. With that, we can now view the contents of this flash drive, the media USB uh, drive, and these are the contents of it. Once we are done using this USB drive, it's advisable to unmount it before we can unplug it. So the command to unmount it is sudo mount, and then we have to list the device here, which is SDB1, this one right here, that we are looking to unmount from this directory. So press enter. And let's repeat the df-h. We'll repeat the commands we used previously, like ls. So it's still there. It's just not mounted. Another command you can use when you're checking devices that you have mounted, you can use mount. You can use mount and grip. And that should also show you what devices you have mounted. Now the device is still connected. It's just not mounted. Like I said, one thing you can do to have it mounted automatically is to make a settings change. Let, let me minimize this. and Let me go to VM again, and this time I'm going to disconnect it. And it shouldn't be listed now. So we need to go ahead and make the setting change that would will automatically uh, mount the USB drive once it's connected. So click on Applications, click on Settings, scroll down. Go to where it says Removable Drives and Media. Click on that. So under Storage, there's these options, which says to mount removable media when inserted. If we check this, which enables that option for us, we can close and then we can go back to VM and go to removable devices and connect and click OK. And now you can see here that there is an icon for the USB drive. You can click on it to access the contents of it. You can also open the terminal and see where it's mounted. Yeah. And this is where it's mounted. So it created a folder inside the media directory, and that's where it mounted the USB drive. So that's all for this video. That's how you connect a USB drive to a Kali Linux machine that's installed on VMware Workstation. I hope this has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.